So I'd like to join with other speakers to thank our IGC conference and also GIR for hosting this very inspiring and interesting uh, conference each year. And I would like to congratulate its 10th anniversary and also I'd like to be part of this family and to share with uh, experiences from China from now on and in the future. So I will do a little bit different with the previous speakers because I'm going to share some of our experiences on transparency framework, also part of the Paris rulebook. And after giving a general overview of the UFCCC transparency rules, I will go to the details of the, our three layers, climate um, related transparency framework from national, local to enterprise. Next, I will show some of our key features and challenges we are facing, and at the end, I will provide some next steps to meet the new entities where we achieved last year in Katowice. And some of you are very familiar with the UHFCCC transparency rules, while well, some others maybe not that familiar with. Is at this stage, we are, ha we are in the second stage, it actually is uh, now we are still in a two different system, but it's very similar that for uh, developed countries, they submit by annual report, and for developing countries, there are BUR by annual updates reports, and both of the reports will go to the review process. And in Katowice, we re reached last year on the MPG, it's from, uh, from 2020, uh, four, so all the parties will start this biannual cycle. So to meet their meet these requirements, the China actually attach great importance to our MRB system from the three layers: national, local, and enterprise. So you can see their basic statistics system at both national and local uh, level. And then for the reporting and the ver verification, there are inventories and as well as the carbon intensity tracking progress as Smith Fan just introduced. So, so for the inventories and carbon intensity, carbon emissions, it all goes both the national and local level. And for the assessment and verifications at national level, we just undertake the international uh, assessment and uh, technical analysis. And also as central government, actually we did the inventory review and verification for the R31 provinces, as well as the carbon intensity assessment. So we will go each year to each provinces to see whether they have met their carbon intensity target. For the enterprise level is now be part of the ETS. So there are guidelines for them to report and also their third party verification for enterprise. And to generally introduce, we have uh, in our uh, 12th and 13th five year plan period, we have uh, issues like rules, regulations, and MRB. And you can see it goes more detailed as the time goes and passes. And for the statistic in indicators, we the, the main idea is to streamline all the climate change related state statistic indicator into our uh, old NBS. So then you can um, take advantage of the current rules, current human power. And you can see we have uh, developed our climate stati statistic indicators. And to collect, collect information from different, um, different ministries. And here you can see for GHG emission controls, uh, we collect the information on the GHG emissions and also different policy and measures. And as part of our statistics indicator, we also collect information on, from other like adaptation and FTC uh, part. And to give a snapshot of our institutional arrangements is uh, the Ministry of Environment is taking charge of preparing all the reports and our center is supporting them, and we also have other institutes preparing GHG inventories on other sectors. And finally, we will go under the Q um, quality assurance QAQC part and to submit to the UFCCC. And the current submission status is we have submitted our uh, three NCs and two BURs. 
and covering the GHG inventory information on five years. So you can see the years goes more frequent. It's first in 1994, and now we are trying our biannual cycle from 2010, 2012, and 2014. And here also on the carbon emission, uh, carbon emission and carbon intensity target, we have also different policy and measures. You can find a detailed introduction in our BUR, something like this tabular format. So different policy and measures from uh, non-fossil fuel uh, promotions as well as energy saving, uh, energy efficiency promotions. And some information from the local side is actually all provinces, 31 provinces, compiled inventory for four years. And also the central government organized the assessment and joined the review of the inventories and also to do the annual assessment of whether they have met their carbon intensity target. So we have our 4045 national target and then we will disaggregate to each provinces. And enterprise level, we have issued 23 guidelines for the, uh, different sectors. And as many of you have been aware of, we have launched uh, first the seven ETS pilots, and now the national pilots have been also launched in 2017. And to cover the power sector, but actually now we are collecting information and data for the all energy intensive sectors as long as the, its threshold is above the 13,000 ton CO2 equivalents. And finally, some information on our database system is we trying to uh, develop the integrated national GHG inventories and the policy measures uh, platform. A demonstration of our inventory database system is uh, we try to have a plat national platform and to put archive all the information not only from the energy sector but also other sectors and to find, uh, better serve the whole MRV uh, process not only for the domestic purpose but also for the international purpose. So to summarize some key features of our MRV system is a very centralized system for the MRV and have three layer system in this system, we have regular and continuous reporting and also effective assessment and review for local inventory and carbon emission data. Also, our database and platform are under construction to archive the information to present the progress. Some challenges is we're still working on our legislation process. So now we are sometimes not that powerful to push local government or enterprise to do this and that. It's, it's sometimes more uh, encouragement or a persuasive way for them to do their uh, due diligence. And also our statistic data, although there is a system, but the information is still collecting at a very preliminary stage. And we, the institutional arrangements for inventory is still under construction. We still lack of a, a continual or sustainable agreements among ministries. So sometimes it's an ad hoc based data collection uh, process. And for reporting, we also have difficulties to quantify the emission reduction from individual policy measures. I am very confident that this is the same challenges faced by many countries. And also the FTC information is not very comprehensive because it's very scattered and disaggregated into different ministries. And although we have very good uh, system on the provincial and enterprise level MRV system, but the, uh, the real quality of data is still needs to be improved. So some next steps to meet or the meet the new MPG we agreed last year is we need to working on the legislations to make it the more powerful to do the mandatory obligations. Also the domestic institutional arrangements needs to be strengthened. And also we are now establish establishing our inventory office, national office, to maintain the expertise to, to construct a database and to improvement of the inventory and PAMs. We are also working um, to build the international collaborations such under the scheme of CIBIT and ACA. Also we have our uh, 
bilateral cooperation with countries such like with Australia. And that, uh, we just visited Canberra this May and have a good exchange with Rob's team on how to improve the inventories. And also we are seeking other collaboration opportunities for strengthening transparency systems. And that's all for my presentations and thank you very much for your attention.